j'ai aimé mon enfant. Et mon enfant même. Et j'ai aimé sa femme. C'est pas grandpa. Give her a hug. Big hug. Ah. Oh. You know, kids don't always listen in cases like that. And the fact that Scarlett did makes this moment even sweeter. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe gets emotional as he says goodbye to his family in Cameroon. And if you've ever left home, family you love to create a better life for yourself and for your lineage, you can understand the pain he's feeling, especially knowing that time is going to continue to pass. My dad is getting old. I just felt like that was the best moment for us to take the kids. All, All right, right, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. I love how Mr. David blows a kiss for baby girl. We needed that levity. It's always hard to leave family. When you're leaving people like that, there's always some sort of, you know, emotional breakdown in you. I'll always hope to return home as soon as possible, whenever the chance. I always hope to return home. Yeah. We hope that for you too, Kobe. As Kobe prepares to leave Cameroon, let, let me let me feel it. Oh, it is real. <laughs> Michael feels like he's dreaming as he finally steps on U.S. soil. It's been seven years, maybe a little over, between all the visas. We'll get into his reaction to his dream of coming to America being realized. and his and Angela's mindset as they approach their biggest test yet. Now we're gonna be out around each other 24 seven. Damn. Yeah, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Before we get into Kobe and Emily preparing to leave Cameroon, let's start things off with Michael finally arriving in the United States. We've been through a lot, you know, and I, I appreciate my wife, you know, for her strong patience. She said she's not going to leave me until the visa gets approved. But to God be the glory, after mm -hmm. the administrative processing, after two weeks it, uh, has been approved, it was quicker than I thought. <laughs> Is that how some of y'all feel? This moment was oddly exciting for me. It took me by surprise. I was like, Am I excited for Michael? <laughs> I guess I am. We're home, day. Ah, finally. Home sweet home. Yeah, even though I have suspicions that he is scamming Angela, I can't help but notice the amount of joy on his face. It's palpable. You can tell how much it means to him that he's here. That is what we've been fighting for, right there. It's cold Jesus. out here. I told, are you cold? Ah. <laughs> See where I got your jacket? Speaking of that jacket, one thing you can count on from Angela, other than the fact that she is going to put on the show, is that she is going to find some American flag paraphernalia or have it on. Talk about being proud to be an American. That is Angela. Y'all remember when she gifted Michael American underwear with Donald Trump's face on it? Yeah, that happened. This was four years ago. Back to Michael's reaction to the States. The weather. <laughs> the weather. Hey. Oh my God. The, the cold was too much. Oh. And but then, you're in winter now. Get used to it. Yeah. It doesn't take long for Angela to sober up the moment by addressing that their issues didn't just disappear. And if anything, they are about to face their biggest challenge. I don't think living together is going to solve our problems, but I think we can start figuring them out better. I wonder what the producer behind the camera asked to get that answer. Do you think living together is going to solve your problems? At least that's how I would have asked it. I don't think living together is going to solve our problems, but I think we can start figuring them out better. I couldn't imagine having to be their producer. The person who is always with Angela and Michael, asking them questions as they're talking to the camera. It would be so hard for me not to intervene, or at least show how I really feel. Think about it. The producers and the camera operators who are out in the field with the cast, 
have to sit there and watch people make all types of questionable choices in their lives. I would be interested in knowing what it's like for them. The real test is now that he's here, is it gonna make our relationship stronger or is it going to make it worse? Because now we're gonna be out around each other 24 seven. And uh, I ain't forgot what happened in Ivory Coast. So he needs to work hard for me to trust him. This is lifetime now. Hmm. If the rumors are true, it sounds like it turned into a lifetime movie. Look at all our stores. See Everywhere lights, lights, lights. What do you think, what do you think Michael? Just look around. Yeah. Number one, there's no traffic here. Mm -mm. And uh, the roads are quite smooth and uh, free. You it, know, if you beep here, somebody's going to flick you off. We can't stand beeps. That's how we do the over there in Nigeria. So, beep, 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 beep. But I will adjust to the system. Oh, I know you will. Now that I'm finally here in the US, it's like a showreel. Like, I couldn't believe it. The shirt with the American home backdrop is definitely something to get used to. Give me five minutes to go in, say hello to the green kids, Skyla. Like, set your clock to five. Next week, Angela and Michael are going to surprise Angela's daughter and grandkids who have no idea Michael is in America, let alone Hazelhurst. Mom, it's just not meant to be if he's not coming over here. I can't wait to prove you wrong that he's going to get that visa. It's God's face. I came all the way to say, look who's coming for dinner. That is going to be something. And to think, this all started seven plus years ago. One day a message popped up on Facebook from a guy named Michael. He said, you look pretty today, good morning. I didn't know who he was, but his profile picture looked cute. He's from Nigeria and he's 30 years old. Michael was out there scouting, at least that's what it seems like. All right, moving on to a love that we know is genuine. Kobe's friend Valerie finishes his speech at his and Emily's traditional Cameroonian wedding, and he has nothing but nice things to say about Emily. And I think, Emily, what I want to tell you here on behalf of all the friends, you have shown us that despite everything, you can take care of your husband. Thank you. And She's like, I knew that. Valerie then takes an inspirational turn in his speech. Kobe have shown us that it's not you being a black or a white is what the couple wants. Before he tells the camera what else he's thinking. I thought that I would not make it for their marriage. But uh, after talking with other friends, I was like, I'm the best friend of Kobe. And I think I have to at least consider that things may turn out to be good. Yes. Uh, I think now it doesn't stop me to be checking to make sure that he, his decision was a perfect one. No. Valerie, I know that's your bestie, but he is a married man with three children now. Unless he brings his concerns to you, I don't think it's appropriate to purposely check in on his marriage, as if he's not an adult. Mind your business. Fast forward, Kobe goes on to honor someone who was noticeably missing from their big night. I have one special person that I would have loved for her to be here, but she's not here. She's a blessed memory. And that is my mom. She raised us to be hardworking kids. And I know up to this day, we will never let her down. And to end this, I will let my wife talk. <laughs> Wow, tonight has been so fun. I'm so excited to be here in Cameroon and meet all of my husbands and my now family and friends. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, let's party. She's officially a public woman. What was the best part of that night? for you? I think everything about the night was the best part. Like everything, there was nothing that I'll sit back and say, I wouldn't want this part or I wouldn't want that part. Everything about it, event was smooth, you know, 
I wish maybe every time we go to Cameroon, we should still do something. Have like a that. wedding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it a was so nice. Like all the people who loved us were, you know, in the hall. Yeah. Like the atmosphere was very conducive. The day after the wedding, Kobe, Emily, her parents, and the kids head to Kobe's family's home to say their goodbyes. And Emily came up with the coolest idea that ended up making this moment so impactful for me personally as a viewer. You'll see what I'm talking about. Emily said she wanted to dress for like an American dad because she is your daughter and she wants you to have a taste of American culture. Yeah. And aside... She's, she's gonna dress him like, yeah. like her dad. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna try it on. All right. Assemble. When Kobe came to America, he brought my dad a Cameroonian outfit. So we thought it would be really fun to bring his dad like a American dad outfit. And I just thought it would be a fun thing for him to try on like cargo shorts with ankle socks and tennis shoes with a fanny pack and a button up collared shirt. Kobe's dad makes his grand entrance. I introduce you, American right. grandpa. He comes out with so much pride, and I don't know if it was Instinct, the woman who helped dress him, or Kobe, but if you notice, that fanny pack is not around his waist. He made it swaggy. I make this look good. While the way he's rocking it is the style now, I'm not sure if that was the American dad look Emily was originally going for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said he feels like he's in Washington. Speaking of that, Angela would probably love this outfit. We would love to stay, but I you know, know, it's time is against us. We have a lot of stuff to go park. So we just want to say thank you guys and. On top of all that adorableness, this next moment brought tears to my eyes. Yes. Look at these two fathers who come from completely different worlds. An American white man and a Cameroonian black man. Wearing attire that represents the other's culture with huge smiles on their faces. With everything going on in the world, it's so refreshing to see this. At our best as humans, this is us. Without all the complications that the ego can bring. The love they both have for their children brought these two men together. It's proof that love has the power to connect us all. And if you're lucky and open, it will connect you to somebody you would never think you would be connected to and expand your life in unimaginable ways. Emily's family's experience with Kobe's family, I'm sure, has made their life experience much richer. And I hope I get to go back at some point. And same the other way around for Kobe's family. Emily opened up to me about a moment that happened off camera with Kobe's dad that made their time together even more special. He had been sick for a while. Yeah. And then when we came, oh, it was so sweet. When he came, he was like, I'm healed because I met you and my grandkids. Wow. And like, yeah, I that. feel like healthy and young again because like I physically get to touch you and hug you. And like, it's in French, but he's translating. We're all yeah. crying. I was like, oh <laughs> my gosh, like I love you. It's gonna be another. Uh, what does that mean, what Kobe's dad did over his head? I'm assuming it's a prayer, but if any of you know, let us know. Amen. He said, I admit that being here with Emily and seeing my friend, accepting her as an official Cameroonian wife and my family accepting her as part of the family makes it even harder to leave. 
This shows you that no one has a perfect situation all the time. You know, when Kobe chose to move to the US to be with Emily and his kid, he also had to mourn being close to his family. It's a reminder that, quote, nothing worthwhile is gained without sacrifice. It's real easy for us to become envious before we ask ourselves, what did that person have to sacrifice to get that? And am I willing to make those same sacrifices? That question will definitely help you figure out what it is you really want. After all, when we use envy as a tool, it helps us get clear on the things we truly desire. People who give you your name and it's really hard. No matter, you know, how comfortable you feel outside, when you're living people like that, there's always some sort of you know, emotional breakdown in you. I'll always hope to return home as soon as possible, whenever the chance. I always hope to return home. Yeah. All this talk of love. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you're living already. Keep it on. Hello, 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 hello. The idea of leaving Cameroon is getting to Kobe so much that next week, he suggests something pretty big to Emily. I've been thinking about something like, maybe we can leave here for a while. It's about investing in our kids. I just hope that she can see this with me. I 100% love your culture and your tradition. But also, we're very lucky that we live in America and our kids get to grow up there. Mm, I would love to know what y'all think about that. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.